What is up everybody? It's your bro J.O. coming to you guys yet with a new video and I just want to wish you guys all a happy new year here in 2021. I hope you guys had a safe and secure holiday with your friends and family. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be going over my current cap collection. Basically the hats that I've accumulated over the, the year or so or over the years. Before we get started, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Jason Ortuño. I go by J.O. in this channel. In this channel, we go over men's shoes men's minimal fashion, things of that nature. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. As stated previously, we're gonna be going over my cap collection. The first cap in my collection is this one that I'm wearing right here. Probably the oldest hat in my collection thus far. Um, it's a Neff cap that I've purchased years ago, I think at Ross from what I remember. Um, I do really like how the cap fits on my head, but even though it's getting a little short, um, like compared to the length of my hair now, um, I don't wear it as much, but it's still in my collection just because it's very versatile. Um, I'll show you guys some B-roll, but as you can see in the B-roll, um, it's made out of wool, polyester, and it's just a very comfortable hat. It is from the brand Neff, if I didn't say that already. Um, Neff back then was kind of like the thing back when I was like in elementary school, but I know they focus more on headwear and stuff now. But nevertheless, um, I doubt I'll be able to find this hat online, but it is in my collection and I really do like it. The second hat I'm gonna be showing you guys is this black suede trucker. I've been wearing this for sure. I know a lot before like the lockdown and stuff back when I was in college and on my campus, when I was lazy, I was always throwing this hat on. But especially now as we, you know, we're always in home and stuff, um, I started wearing it a lot more. And as you can tell, it's had a lot of beating over the years. Similar to the green Neff one. Um, it's just been in my collection. I purchased it at the Swami just cause that's where I found it. Um, I, like I said, I'll try to link them online, the ones that I find. Um, this hat in particular is just very versatile. It's suede and then it has like the mesh. It has the mesh from like the trucker cap cause like initially that's what it is. I like it because it goes a lot with my wardrobe. As you can tell, I'm pretty simple. I wear a lot of gray, black, white, and this cap just pretty much tops it off as a good accessory for when I wear my simple fits. Um, I've taken it through the rain, you know, windy days or whatever. So it's had, it has had a beating, but nevertheless, I still like it. I like how it looks, I like how it feels. And I think the people who have caps know that like, even the, the beat it up or like the caps that are like really messed up, they like to keep them just cause they mold it to the head really well. And they just like the aesthetic. Um, but yeah, this cap right here, is a great cap. I recommend it if you're like in a truckers a lot, um, just cause it's different. It's just suede and stuff. It's probably not the highest quality of suede, but it gets the job done. Um, yeah. The next cap I'm going to be showing you all is the latest purchase, um, that I have accumulated thus far. It is my, um, this is from the brand Bricks and Woods from LA. Um, I found it because I follow this Instagrammer named Old Man Allen. If you guys don't know him, um, good content and stuff. I like how he dresses and he's like pretty fly and fresh. So um, I saw him post this hat and then I knew like, like I like very simple caps, very um, minimal, very neutral caps, just cause I know I can wear them a lot. And I saw him post this and I'm like, man, I need to get that when they restock. And luckily they restocked not that long ago and I ended up pulling the, you know, pulling the trigger and, and buying it. So, um, honestly, I didn't really pay attention because I'm kind of new to this fitted stuff. I started wearing fitted caps again um, back in like the summer of 2020 when the quarantine started, but I was already getting the urge to buy fitted caps because my friend Isaac, um, so shout out to my boy Isaac Sosa, he was wearing them in, in college when we would hang out and stuff, and I really like how they suited him and I saw other people wearing them. I'm like, man, I should probably give them a try again. Um, so I did start my uh, collection of fitted, like I said, back in the summer and um, I've been growing it very slowly since, but this is the latest purchase, as I said, and this one is a low profile. It's not like the 5950 originals, um, the original fit. This is a low profile fit. So um, I don't really like how it fits on my head right now, but I know if I had like a fresh cut, it would look really clean. But since I am growing out my hair, it's not my favorite cap, but I'm not disappointed with my purchase, if that makes any sense. Nevertheless, it does feel good on my head. I just don't wear it out as much, like I said, cause I don't feel comfortable wearing it like out in public. Cause I don't, you know, like 
feel good about it with my hair sticking out way more. Um, nevertheless, it's still a clean hat. Like I said, I think if you were to get like a fresh cut, like a fresh taper, it would really like elevate your style with this cap. Um, but nevertheless, the, the details on this cap is what I really like. The color is very unique. I don't see a lot of new era fitted caps that are this color. The logo is different. That's something about me that I like is like the logos kind of have to be different. I don't really rep a lot of teams like that. Um, I like how it has like a little accent on the back. You'll see it. And um, yeah, it's just a good hat. I am kind of like breaking it in. That's why the sticker's still on. I take the stickers off personally. That's just how I like it. But when I'm breaking in the cap, I just keep it in just to kind of let me know like, oh yeah, I'm still breaking in that cap. So maybe it's not ready to completely style or fit. Um, I wear my caps, like I said, inside right now a lot, like we all are inside. But yeah, I like this cap. I'm happy that it's in my collection and hopefully um, in the summer as it is approaching, I'll be wearing it a lot more. The next cap that I'm wearing right now is my Cal State Fullerton um, baseball cap. This one is 100% wool. Something that I haven't paid attention to is I know New Era makes different types of materials on their caps. Some of them are wool, some of them are polyester. And um, personally me, I kind of like the polyester one a little more, but the wool ones are, are just right there. Um, this one in particular, I like how it fits on my head. That's something that you're gonna hear repetitively on this you know, cap collection thing. They really have to fit my head really well. I don't keep anything that doesn't or anything that you know doesn't match with my style. Um, I know before I was like really into like the minimal fashion, I would really have a lot of bright caps and stuff, but you know, that was a little off topic, but yeah, this cap right here, I really do like how it fits. I bought this one in the summer of 2020, right when I started my collection. I bought this one and another one. Um, and this one is, I think I've been wearing it a lot more than the green one. As of recently, I first started off with the green one that I'll show you right after this one. And then I started wearing this one. Um, and this one I really like just cause it's navy. It matches my fits, it matches my style, and it's different. Um, obviously, when you're in my college, I feel like a lot of people have this one, but when you're out in the street, when you're out and about, when I'm going to the post office, going to Target, um, people don't always have it, and they see like, oh yeah, this guy this guy probably goes to Fullerton, which I do. But yeah, I really like how um, it has like the little emblem on the side, or the stitching from the elephant, and then it has the new era. Um, it's just a clean hat. I can see myself wearing this definitely down the line. Um, timeless for me personally, like I said, I don't rep a lot of teams, but I do like repping uh, things that represent me and where I'm from and things like that. So yeah, this Fullerton one, the F, perfect for me. And yeah. The next cap in my collection is the one that I said that I also bought with the Fullerton one, which is this Angels one. I actually got a good deal on it. I think I paid like $15 or so for a new era cap. And I personally can say it was probably one of the best purchases that I've made. I like how it fits on my head once again. This one is made out of polyester. I know a lot of people like talking about like the brims. This is a all green brim. Um, and some people might not like that, some people do. I personally like when the brim matches the cap. Um, not all the time, but sometimes. In this case, this color is like a, it reminds me like of a Rolex, whole type of Rolex green color. I personally like that just cause I've seen people rock up like Rolex merch a little more. And since I kind of like that stuff, or like I started getting into watches a little more, is color reminds me of that. And once again, this cap is from the Angels, um, which is initially is now the Los Angeles Angels, but back then it was the Anaheim Angels. I am from the OC, so I rep Anaheim the most because it's closest to me, um, and it is my city. So yeah, I like this is what I rep. I don't really watch baseball like that. I started kind of getting into it. Um, a little while back, maybe like two years ago, when I have time, I'll watch a game here and there. But yeah, I rep the Angels. That's kind of my team, I guess, if I were to pick a team. Like I said, I don't really rock, rock like LA fitteds. I don't rock New York fitteds just because that's not where I'm from. And that's just not like one day I don't want to be going down the street and someone's going to be like, oh, you go for the Dodgers, you know, like, and I'm not going to know. So <laughs> for that reason, that's why I don't, I don't really wear them and rep them. But they're cool hats. I feel like New York and LA caps get the best colors. They get like these mustard oranges, the cool browns, and I'm like, man, they need to make some for like the angels. But yeah, it's just a cool hat in my collection to have. I like to wear it all the time when I'm doing my errands. And that's pretty much what I use all my hats for because I don't like doing my hair no more since it's very long. And I just like throwing on my caps. 
and yeah this is just a very nice angel's cap i don't think i'll be able to find it once again just because i know they were on clearance or on sale and um they're probably very limited quantities now lastly but definitely not least the cap that i can say that has had the most wear as of recently would have to be the new era of your god cap i saw that essentials was doing a, a drop sometime i think in december and i was looking at my collection i'm like yo i don't have a black cap i definitely need one especially now that i've been wearing a lot more um, i was always wearing the blue and the green one so it was kind of getting repetitive and i kind of wanted something different and i saw that they were dropping these so i knew i had to pull the trigger i didn't get lucky in the morning because i know they had like an early drop so then i went in person to lids the local lids that's closest to me and um they didn't have my size so i was already getting ready to take the l but then i saw a youtuber that i watched locust and wild honey on his instagram post that they had extra ones on his like instagram so i quickly swiped up just bought it and then next thing you know it shipped to my house um what i really do like about the hat like i said is just the font it's different i'm not the biggest baseball guy i'm not the biggest fitted guy but i do like hats that are simple and timeless just because i like how they work with my head shape and stuff and this hat is no different one thing though that i can kind of say that i really don't like about it um, it's just that it was a little bit bigger than the regular size 7, but that is because this one is like a pro model and the other one is just like a 5950 regular model, I believe. I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, if you know. Um, but yeah, I still like the hat a lot. I like that hey, it is a green brim. I would have preferred a gray brim like the other ones, but it wasn't really like a game changer for me just because I really do like this green. Um, like I said, this green kind of reminds me of like, like the Rolex C green. Um, even though this green is a little lighter than the angels cap, I still like it. I like how it fits with everything that I wear and it's just been a hat that I've been just wearing a lot lately and hopefully I'll probably buy another one in the summer. I kind of already have an idea of which caps I want in the summer. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked the video. I apologize if it is a little long. It's been a minute since I recorded and I did have some issues, but I hope you guys did like it. Um, if you're new, once again, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's keep grinding, let's keep working. God bless.